Right, so as you can see from the video, as, as you can see, look, the air cooler below there. It's right below there. Now, this is full bore. Hey guys, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. This is my review of the S1100 from Thermal Ray. Now, it's a 120 and it's also a low profile heatsink. So basically, it's meant for like ITX form factor cases. And as you can look, the heat, heat, heat pipes by here are full copper, but they're nickel plated. It's got an aluminium shroud, um, aluminium fin stack here. The fan is a 120, and we'll get right into it. guys right so this is the air cooler obviously and what I'm gonna do is I'll show you what comes in the box now this is according to them AM4 and AM5 compatible I don't know how it's gonna be AM5 because a lot of controversy when it comes to the mountain on AM5 but there you go um, it is LJ 1700 compatible it comes with thermal paste comes with a LGA 1700 bracket, it comes with two extra clips according to them, you can fit two air cooler, uh, two fans on here, I don't see where, but, you know, I don't know, uh, comes with a lot of different um, mountains, it also comes with a, a TF7 thermal paste, I've got a TF9 here, which is a, a very premium, thick thermal paste, which I am using, I try to use the same one each time, so I get consistent results every time I test. So, as I said, it's a 120, it's 4-pin PWM, and the dB is, according to them, is 27 decibels. Now, I've got benchmarks, but what I'll do is I'll make sure I put the system specs up right here, and we'll get straight to the benchmarks, and then we'll have a little chat. Now, for benchmark testing, I did uh, Cinebench R20, which was a idler 30 a max 66 celsius cinebench r23 which is rather odd because cinebench r23 was an idler 33 but the max was a 65. uh 3d mark cpu test was an idler 30 and a max of 61. i did run two games csgo and fortnite csgo idler was 13 and max was 44 and for Fortnite, the idles were 32 Celsius and the max was a 50, but it went up to 50 Celsius when the game was loaded in. So once the game had finished loading, it went back down to 42 Celsius. So, so, basically, do you really need to buy something like this? Well, it's not the first low, pro, uh, pro, low profile air cooler I've looked at. I've looked at one from Be Quiet, but that one was just humongous. Just too big. So basically, if you want a low profile air cooler, this isn't bad. The fan isn't loud, which I was very shocked at. Even at 2000 RPM, you could hear it, but you couldn't hear it like the rest of the reviews I've done of Thermorite air coolers. It's not that loud. It actually sounds okay. I the only thing I could actually hear over this air cooler was the fans inside the case. That was it. Couldn't hear the air cooler otherwise. And with obviously the, the, the temp glass side panel closed and everything, couldn't hear it. Rather, re really nice to actually have an air cooler off them that wasn't loud. So it comes with two different type clips. Uh, it comes with a 25mm and it comes with a 15mm. So that means you could put a 15 millimeter thin 120 uh, fan on it, or it's for a normal sized 120. Now the fan is a um, four pin PWM, which I like to see. It is AM4, Contem AM5, LGA 1700. It's got the uh, bracket already included in the box. And that's pretty much it. So, if you want to find out more, I will leave a link to Thermal White, uh, Thermal Red, uh website down below. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.